Hello friends, this is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy and today I am excited to introduce to you some great new information that you're going to need to know about the week to come. Now, this is an impromptu video. I just randomly grabbed all my stuff as I ran out the door this morning and so I will hope that you forgive some of the quality of it. That being said, we are officially not sponsored by Rockstar. However, Rockstar, if you would like to sponsor either one video or my entire channel, please feel free to contact me. I love your drinks. I would love being a spokesperson. I'll put on a bikini and walk around a, a ring if you want me to, but uh, no one wants to see that. So, like, no one. That's just weird. That being said, Rockstar, delicious. This week, we are going to be eating a ton of ton of new features guys and I'm really really excited now the notes that I have may have changed so I will go through these and I cannot tell you how excited I am first and foremost they are rolling out the the new game mode the new game a lot of the new game modes between the 21st and the 24th if you have updated your game sometime in the last two days you've probably noticed some pretty pretty sweet changes now you might have also noticed some bugs, so be prepared. There's probably going to be some bugs. There's probably going to be some things that need to be fixed. That being said, they have readjusted a lot of the stuff. The whole uh, fleet arena area looks completely different. The energy, the both cantina and regular energy have a new logo on it. Really, really cool. You will notice the achievement section has been moved. That is awesome. Now, what I am most excited for, guys, and this is the thing that I'm excited for all the freaking time whenever it happens, double drops. Now, this is something they do with most of most movies, most uh, major launches. They do a double drop. Now, we are going to have double drops for both light side, dark side, and cantina modes. So what does that mean? It means save your crystals. If there's a character you're farming, save your crystals for that time. Now, the double drop will run from the 25th through the 27th. That's this whole weekend. That is going to be Friday through Sunday. So it will not be live on Monday. So what that means is you can do a ton of farming between now and then, but only if you have the crystals. If you are going to follow any of my farming guides, which I think I only have one out right now, now is the time to take advantage of the double drops, right? Next up on the list, we have ship combats has been reworked. It is coming to the fleet arena near you or the fleet arena in your hands. Now, this is the one they're completely revamping how ships work. Instead of having five battle, five ships to start off with, you're only going to have three. There's a whole new reinforcement mechanic that's starting out. Um, the starting, like I said, the starting fleet is going to be dropped from five to three. The abilities have also been updated. Now, what's interesting about this whole thing, very excited, is they've been working on this since they launched ships. This isn't something they just threw together. This is something that has been a year and a half, almost two years in the making. So whoever works on ships, they're passionate about it. They love Star Wars ships and like they've put a lot of time and effort into it. The hype from what we're hearing at CG is just they're really excited for this. Now, this is a major game update. This is going to be a major uh change to the game and i for one am very very excited they're also dropping the battle timer from seven and a half minutes to five minutes so it's gonna make those of you who are complaining about spending too much time in the game it's gonna make it take less time so yeah for those of us who don't ever finish all of our fleet battles now we really don't have much of an excuse additionally they're adding quests to the game uh, an area that will now, dri now drive new and existing players through a series of quests that will help players begin to understand our core mechanics, squad compositions, raids, and Elder Game player modes, right? So essentially it's like, hey, if there's something about the game you don't understand, this is going to help you, right? And that's, that's pretty beneficial, right? And I think that hopefully, at least the intention is, that what they want to do is make not in-game players or players who are not in-game players yet more in-game players and really make it more of a challenge 
So there's more competition in both like arena and fleet arena and in just other areas of the game. They're also adding titles. So we've, some of the other uh, game changes have been, have talked about this. You can find out what those are. You will be able to earn titles through different, you know, different prestigious quests, different things. It's, it's kind of sort of, it's kind of cool. Now, if you're new to the game, you will be added to a starter guild. Now, this is going to be a really interesting thing, and I'd love to hear feedback for those of you who are new, who are just starting out. What do these starter guilds look like? I'm going to be able, I'm going to join a starter guild with one of my alt accounts. I'm actually going to create a new alt account to join a starter guild, because I'm really curious as to how they work, how they benefit, and how they, they fit together. Very excited about that. And I think what's interesting about it is it's going to help a lot of those newer players kind of get the familiarity with the game, figure out what's going on, and kind of get you on your feet a lot sooner than some of us who've been playing since launch. Now, again, one of the one of the things that I really like, but I can see how it's going to annoy people, is the chat. The chat has been completely revamped. I got a, a an individual chat from a buddy of mine who was in a former guild. I'm really excited to hear from him. It was cool because then I could chat with people who are not in my guild. This new chat feature is awesome. Now, here's the thing. You can donate gear from the chat feature. I think people aren't going to like this. I Like, it's nice, but at the same time, it's it can kind of be frustrating. It does make the chat a lot more jumbled. There is now an auto launching feature for raids, which is sweet. They also have a tagging raid or a no damage period option. So what it does is you just go in, you tag, you no longer have to sacrifice a character to, to actually log in to, to, to be able to get the rewards. This is incredibly beneficial for those of you who just aren't strong enough maybe in the sith triumvirate raid or any of the other raids it, it's very nice it also prevents that random little snippet of hey you logged in and you put it on auto and your one dude hit the wrong guy and all of a sudden you know you've done a ton of damage and it's frustrating right that's that's incredibly frustrating and people have lost guilds because of that and 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 this fixes that i'm really excited about it i think it's super cool additionally there's going to be some free ship Omegas and reinforcement material coming out. A one-time gift of reinforcement and ship Omega materials will be arriving to your inbox with the ship 2.0 update. Reinforcement materials will also be available in Cantina Mode 6A for a limited time. Now, guys, if Cantina Mode 6A, if, if they update this during that uh, double drop time, farm all of it, all of it on ship nodes or on that Cantina Note 6A, because that is going to be something where you're going to be getting a lot, a lot of material. And double drops, you know, they're important. Also, they have reworked some of the ships, because obviously these ship Omega ability mats are coming to the game, and so therefore, they had to. We also have the Shard Shuffle. We are now going to be able to farm, albeit very slowly, Darth Sion and Visa Smar. Now, Visa Smar is definitely on my list. She is a solid character that just does a ton of damage in the Sith Trammer raid. And a lot of people, a lot of people are, are going to want to use her. Now, there's some additional quality of life updates. You can now see a Zeta badge indicator that shows if that person you're going up against or if your own characters have Zetas, that is really cool. I thought that was neat when I first saw that. Also, when you see gear in a store or receive it as an award, it will kind of have this little yellow tag, right? It's that favorite tag. Um, and that's gonna indicate that it's needed by one of your characters, right? And that's incredibly helpful. It's incredibly beneficial. I, I love that, I think it's super sweet. There are now new tor tutorials to help officers understand the features that they have access to in a guild. So if you are a new officer for your guild, this is going to be very, very beneficial to you because there's a lot of stuff that you have to do as an officer that the rest of us don't want to do. And mad props to you guys who do take the time. My hat is off to you because that is, it's a lot of work and it's not something that I personally want to do or could really do. I don't have the, 
the mental fortitude of it. My mind would just turn to mush, probably. Um, additionally, Shipability's maxed cover icon is fixed. Uh, they changed the word max on shipability icons to a green check mark for easier readability because maxed is a hard word for some people to read, apparently. There's some other stuff. They've, they've made some fixes. You guys can go through and read these on the notes. I, I'm really excited. The full launch, the full rollout should probably take place over the next couple of days. I think that it will be ready or I think that it'll be complete by the 25th. I think everything will be in place before the Han Solo movie comes out. I, personally, I think that because I just don't think they want us to worry about the game when we're either going to the movie to love it or to hate it or to just meh it. Um, that being said, guys, the, the, the movie is only a few days away and reviews are mixed. If you join my Discord channel, uh, which I will leave in the section below a link to, don't spoil it for anyone. Don't be that guy. Don't. That's that's just rude and mean and oh, you don't make friends that way. But that being said, I will have a section in the my Discord chat for those of you who do want to talk about spoilers. That's where you can go. Also, if you feel so inclined, help us out on Patreon. Every little bit counts. We do appreciate it. Follow us, like us, subscribe. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And as always, my friends, stay nerdy.